And the Lord called unto Moses, and spoke unto him out of the tent of meeting, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When any man of you bringeth an offering unto the Lord, ye shall bring your offering of the cattle, even of the herd or of the flock. If his offering be a burnt offering of the herd, he shall offer it a male without blemish. He shall bring it to the door of the tent of meeting, that he may be accepted before the Lord. And he shall lay his hand upon the head of the burnt offering, and it shall be accepted for him to make atonement for him. And he shall kill the bullock before the Lord, and Aaron's sons, the priests, shall present the blood, and dash the blood round about against the altar that is at the door of the tent of meeting. And he shall flay the burnt offering, and cut it into its pieces. And the sons of Aaron the priest shall put fire upon the altar, and lay wood in order upon the fire. And Aaron's sons, the priests, shall lay the pieces, and the head, and the suet, in order upon the wood that is on the fire which is upon the altar. But its inwards and its legs shall he wash with water, and the priest shall make the whole smoke on the altar, for a burnt offering, an offering made by fire, of a sweet savor unto the Lord. And if his offering be of the flock, whether of the sheep or of the goats, for a burnt offering, he shall offer it a male without blemish. And he shall kill it on the side of the altar northward before the Lord. And Aaron's sons, the priests, shall dash its blood against the altar round about. And he shall cut it into its pieces. And the priest shall lay them, with its head and its suet, in order on the wood that is on the fire which is upon the altar. But the inwards and the legs shall he wash with water. And the priest shall offer the whole, and make it smoke upon the altar. It is a burnt offering, an offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord. And if his offering to the Lord be a burnt offering of fowls, then he shall bring his offering of turtle doves, or of young pigeons. And the priest shall bring it unto the altar, and pinch off its head, and make it smoke on the altar, and the blood thereof shall be drained out on the side of the altar. And he shall take away its crop with the feathers thereof, and cast it beside the altar on the east part, in the place of the ashes. And he shall rend it by the wings thereof, but shall not divide it asunder. And the priest shall make it smoke upon the altar, upon the wood that is upon the fire. It is a burnt offering, an offering made by fire, of a sweet savor unto the Lord. And when any one bringeth a meal offering unto the Lord, his offering shall be a fine flour, and he shall pour oil upon it, and put frankincense thereon. And he shall bring it to Aaron's sons the priests, and he shall take there out his handful of the fine flour thereof, and of the oil thereof, together with all the frankincense thereof. And the priest shall make the memorial part thereof smoke upon the altar, an offering made by fire, of a sweet savor unto the Lord. But that which is left of the meal offering shall be Aaron's and his sons. It is a thing most holy of the offerings of the Lord made by fire. And when thou bringest a meal offering baked in the oven, it shall be unleavened cakes of fine flour mingled with oil, or unleavened wafers spread with oil. And if thy offering be a meal offering baked on a griddle, it shall be a fine flour unleavened, mingled with oil. Thou shalt break it in pieces, and pour oil thereon, it is a meal offering. And if thy offering be a meal offering of the stewing pan, it shall be made of fine flour with oil. And thou shalt bring the meal offering that is made of these things unto the Lord, and it shall be presented unto the priest, and he shall bring it unto the altar. And the priest shall take off from the meal offering the memorial part thereof, and shall make it smoke upon the altar, an offering made by fire, of a sweet savor unto the Lord. But that which is left of the meal offering shall be Aaron's and his sons. It is a thing most holy of the offerings of the Lord made by fire. No meal offering, which ye shall bring unto the Lord, shall be made with leaven. For ye shall make no leaven, nor any honey, smoke as an offering made by fire unto the Lord. As an offering of first fruits ye may bring them unto the Lord, but they shall not come up for a sweet savor on the altar. And every meal offering of thine shalt thou season with salt, either shalt thou suffer the salt of the covenant of thy God to be lacking from thy meal offering. With all thy offerings thou shalt offer salt. And if thou bring a meal offering of first fruits unto the Lord, 
Thou shalt bring for the meal offering of thy first fruits corn in the ear parched with fire, even groats of the fresh ear. And thou shalt put oil upon it, and lay frankincense thereon, it is a meal offering. And the priest shall make the memorial part of its smoke, even of the groats thereof, and of the oil thereof, with all the frankincense thereof, it is an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And if his offering be a sacrifice of peace offerings, if he offer of the herd, whether male or female, he shall offer it without blemish before the Lord. And he shall lay his hand upon the head of his offering, and kill it at the door of the tent of meeting, and Aaron's sons the priest shall dash the blood against the altar round about. And he shall present of the sacrifice of peace offerings an offering made by fire unto the Lord, the fat that covereth the inwards, and all the fat that is upon the inwards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, which is by the loins, and the lobe above the liver, which he shall take away hard by the kidneys. And Aaron's sons shall make it smoke on the altar upon the burnt offering, which is upon the wood that is on the fire. It is an offering made by fire, of a sweet savor unto the Lord. And if his offering for a sacrifice of peace offerings unto the Lord be of the flock, male or female, he shall offer it without blemish. If he bring a lamb for his offering, then shall he present it before the Lord. And he shall lay his hand upon the head of his offering, and kill it before the tent of meeting, and Aaron's sons shall dash the blood thereof against the altar round about. And he shall present of the sacrifice of peace offerings an offering made by fire unto the Lord, the fat thereof, the fat tail entire, which he shall take away hard by the rump bone, and the fat that covereth the inwards, and all the fat that is upon the inwards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is upon them, which is by the loins, and the lobe above the liver, which he shall take away by the kidneys. And the priest shall make it smoke upon the altar. It is the food of the offering made by fire unto the Lord. And if his offering be a goat, then he shall present it before the Lord. And he shall lay his hand upon the head of it, and kill it before the tent of meeting, and the sons of Aaron shall dash the blood thereof against the altar round about. And he shall present thereof his offering, even an offering made by fire unto the Lord the fat that covereth the inwards, and all the fat that is upon the inwards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is upon them, which is by the loins, and the lobe above the liver, which he shall take away by the kidneys. And the priest shall make them smoke upon the altar. It is the food of the offering made by fire, for a sweet savor. All the fat is the Lord's. It shall be a perpetual statute throughout your generations in all your dwellings that ye shall eat neither fat nor blood. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If any one shall sin through error in any of the things which the Lord hath commanded not to be done, and shall do any one of them. If the anointed priest shall sin so as to bring guilt on the people, then let him offer for his sin, which he hath sinned, a young bullock without blemish unto the Lord for a sin offering. And he shall bring the bullock unto the door of the tent of meeting before the Lord. And he shall lay his hand upon the head of the bullock, and kill the bullock before the Lord. And the anointed priest shall take of the blood of the bullock, and bring it to the tent of meeting. 